to start a streaming. your hair? No, I washed it. <laughs> Y'all, did you see my attempt at Labradorite? Proud. I need to ask Rhonda how that's set up. On my way to celebrate my birthday. Well, happy birthday, Vamp. Didn't even know it was your B-Day. Do the most? Yeah, you did. Really? I think so. Thank you, Jessica. Hello, Stephanie. D nice. Tutor. Toot toot. Debbie Tiffany. Manuel. Swamper. Where's Tutor at? I told him I almost had all the orders out so he could take the day. Where's yeah, I thought you said you just saw him again. You said Tutor. Okay, right. Okay, Tutor was in here. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know that was his name. What's up, y'all? Trying to turn that so you can't see. Nice so we're going to spray. We're going to do stuff to this and the puppies up here. You wanted to say hi to everybody. See how cute? He's so cute. Next year, Dallas. All right. Well, have a good night. Be careful. Happy early birthday, Julie. We're glad to be back doing lives with you, Jessica Terry. So. Well, awesome. Happy birthday tomorrow. I feel like this is a harmonica. Like. <laughs> Bowie, do you like it? Nope. Mom, mom, mom. I'm sorry, Denise. I almost got my dream puppy but at the last minute that people called. What, did you find a puppy and they were like... JK. JK, that's mine. What's a menacing giraffe? Gibson, welcome. Man, a lot of birthdays. Happy birthday, everybody. So, um, I, I was at Home Depot today, and I just saw this, like, sticking out like a sore thumb, and it said, Appliance Epoxy. And I thought, why not give it a try? Give it a go. And, well, I don't have no idea what it is, how it works, or what we're supposed to do with it. So, I just thought it'd be a fun Monday video. It is Monday. It is Monday. We'll be right back. Do the intro. Bring it, please. Bring it, bring it. Okay, that's enough. I said, enough. Yeah. Bowie's just, there's Bowie Cam. <laughs> He's like, what is that thing coming towards our face? I don't like it. Nope. nope I hate nope, it all. Nope. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> He's like hot. Yeah, he's. Hold on. This, this o overhead, overhead camera looks like it's a little weird. A Great Pyrenees mix. Bowie's best friend is a Great Pyrenees. Her name's Maddie, and she, um, who is 
the daycare all week. Um, playful giraffe. I have been having problems with the red phone. So please send me that message again. That goes to everybody that I haven't responded to. Also, who said that they used this stuff recently? What? What is it? What is it? What can we do with it? You guys, I'm really digging this new uh, heat gun that we that we got. Shetlers. Yeah. Well, good morning, Lisa. So I thought what we could do. I don't even know how. How are you supposed to read this? Like. People, mainly people over 40, 50 are going to use this. Look at this. Even the camera can't even read it. Like, come on. They should just have an insert with information. Like, that is just ridiculous. Like, even if I try to put it... Way to make me feel old, Rustoleum. Yeah, Rustoleum. What's up, Clara? Betty, what's up? So if anybody has used this, what what uh, what are we supposed to do? Can I just spray it on? I thought maybe we can just spray the backs of coasters so that, uh, you know, they'll be nice and smooth and water resistant. It is just a hard finished spray paint. Well, that's no fun. Seems like all directions are tiny. That's right. All right, so I have my window open. It says washable and moisture resistant, smooth factory-like finish. So I'm wondering if we, could, if we should spray like I do have a small little refrigerator over there. <laughs> we got it. We got it when we first moved in here. So we can have like beers, you know, and stuff. <laughs> in a different part of the room. And now it's just over there. It's still plugged in. I think there's some water in it. <laughs> Just stay evenly. Okay. Bathroom countertop. So maybe we should spray something that already has epoxy on it. But if it's white, you won't be able to see it. I'm that, that's the whole point. I'm just It's just going to be smooth. We'll just see how smooth it is. I'm not going to paint on those coasters. Is there any coasters over there that you don't want? I don't have any yeah. smooth yeah. ones. There's a couple over here, but they're your ones that that you like the colors to. These are gross, so it doesn't matter what happens to them. <laughs> Susan, my son had had to have a mini fridge for his room. I refused to open it. Pretty sure there's beer. But I know nothing. <laughs> It's like, uh, ooh, that'll be nice. It's like Tommy Boy. You could put six packs of beer soda in there. That's true. All right, so I'm going to sand one. Ooh, give me, um, will you give me, there should be, oh, I got these right here. Sweet. So I'm going to sand one. I'm just going to sand it with some Scotch Brite. Scotch Brite works for everything. Like if, if you're afraid of sandpaper, and some people are, because it it's very intimidating scratching up something. Uh, especially with sandpaper because it needs to be even and you can put fingerprint marks in there and eh, nobody likes that. With, uh, with this stuff, it's soft, it's abrasive, and it gives you a nice little tooth there. Like it, it just scratches it up just enough takes the sheen away 
So what we'll do is we'll mark on the back of this one, sanded. I thought we were just spraying on the back of those. I want to see what it looks like if if you would like to, like she said, Teresa said, the paint does have quite a smell. All right, well, we got a window open. We'll open it a little bit further. Um, we'll spray a raw one. We'll see how it turns out. And we'll spray a regular one. So let's, let's do this. So what are you gonna do with it after you spray it on there? I don't know. We can draw on them, we can pour on them, we can gonna use them as Frisbees. Okay, well, we'll see. I don't know. I don't this is an you. experiment. I know it, so you don't have you to. You want to go back in your cave? I thought you had some more here. I, I did. Give me sugar. Mm. Oh, <laughs> <Know it. laughs> Where I am absolutely worn out. Megan, I am here. Thanks for all the positive comments on my beef steak tray and ATDs. Poor people, everyone. Love the group. Do yourself a favor and join if you're not in it already. Thank you. Ooh. Within resin. Awesome. Right. We'll see. Let's just spray. We're going to spray the sanded. This has got Yo, just a resin. Smell. Resin over. Will you prop that open a little bit more? Mm -hmm. All right. Play dominoes, Jeff? I, I don't play dominoes. I've never been a fan of that game. I don't know why. Because you have to sit still. Whoa. Man, that does really smell. Wow. Turn that fan on, please. Move that, uh, yeah, but give it to him a little bit. Oh, wow. Babe. What? When it, like, yeah, so it goes out the window. It goes on your face, so I wanted to get it out of there. Okay. Have you got my messages? Megan, I'm pretty sure she hasn't gotten any messages uh, on the red phone. Uh, we it's need to take... Facebook. We need to take that. We need to take my phone. I have it, two huge cracks in my phone now, and I don't really like that because I don't want to cut my hand or my face. <laughs> and it keeps telling me to up update my phone, and I hate that. that. I hate doing that more than anything. Whoa. How would that come through? Look at that, y'all. How is that bleeding? Like, that's crazy. The resin is bleeding? It looks really nice, though. Like, it looks like the counters we did in Baltimore. All right, now let's just spray one without without uh, sanding. What are you using this? This color obsession. Oh, my gosh. That is, like... Gnarly! Wow! And you got. Babe! She's gonna blow us all away. I tend to have that effect. Oh, that's about ready to come through, too. How crazy is that? Does that mean that. that the color is still on top? Y'all, that one. looks really nice though. Like that white looks. Look how nice that looks. They Real classy. All right, I'm gonna spray this. I'm gonna spray a couple of these over by the spray paint area. I don't, I don't like that. You can kind of see it in this one. Here, boy cat. You don't need me up here. I'll, I'll put you back in just a minute. I got some new things for this area. Turf. Bowie, go over there. Here, baby. Yeah, that fan is really loud for ventilation. Sorry about that. 
I'll turn it off as soon as he's done spray painting. I'm excited about how this is turning out, like how it's so smooth. It is really smooth. I feel like if they had a clear version of this, it would be... They had black, but I, I thought, mm, let's just get white now we can see what can go over it. Uh, it was kind of sad to me. Yeah, well this is just raw wood, so... This is raw MDF. Yeah, that stuff's made to go over metal, I'm pretty sure, because it's for refrigerators. Simply to... <laughs> I'm blowing them up. Dry. Still tacky. It'll probably take a minute a few minutes to dry on the resin coated ones and a little bit less on the raw MDF just because it'll it's more likely to just soak into the MDF. Yeah. So how was everybody's Monday? Yeah, it's still tacky. It's still just as tacky as as your math teacher in seventh grade. <laughs> mm. I had very tacky math teacher. Ooh, that is like, oh, yummy. I bet that takes a little while to dry. Where's the key? Appliance epoxy. Yeah, it's gotta be like, We'll Based probably on take a 70 couple degrees smooth. Fahrenheit, 50% relative humidity, allow more time at cooler temperatures, dry to the touch in two to four hours. Well, that's the thing. We, uh, it's been raining here today, so. We have to just put this to the side and then do something and then see what it looks like at the end of the feed. Yeah. So, uh, what do you guys want to see? Oh, I made another one of those skateboards. And I added to the other one. I'm going to take them to them tomorrow. Ooh, this is sticky stuff here, y'all. Hold on. I don't want those boards anywhere near this epoxy. Good job. Go lay down. Also, you have some, Bowie. <laughs> also, you as well have some. Just gonna let you show this one, and then I'm gonna take it and switch it out. All right, so this is the one that I started with y'all, and I added, I added the teal around it, as you can see, and I added some hexagons, which. Uh, give it a little bit more of a texture to it. Just something fun. Yeah, a nice little swirly. Relax. How tall are those Swarovski Pikachus? Um, I have 10 inch ones. We have two 10 inch ones. They're right over there. We can get those if you want to see them. You have one Pretty of cool, huh? No, there's two of them. They're on that thing, babe. They're on the turntable. Oh. That's not a Pikachu. Oh, a Pikachu. I was thinking just figure. 
And then I did this one yesterday. Whoa. Look at this. It's crazy because this, this, uh, it's really difficult to see that, but it really, look at that. I want to do a whole board like that. I'm going to do a Charizard like that. That's going to be fun. You guys can't see the, uh... Yeah, it's difficult to see, but, I mean, you can kind of see that. And this is a purple Posca pin. So if you guys want some, like, it doesn't look like it here. Can I take this? But... Or no? Yeah, I guess. It's just the longer it's over here, the more risk it's going to get this is, uh, this glows in the dark as well. Like this pigment. Oh, you can see that too. Uh, I thought they were three or four inches. What, Denise, we do have smaller ones. What, how many inches are these guys? Look, it kind of glows. Like, that's so cool. We have some in this size. Look at this little guy. Then we can do them in this size. This is a 10 inch one. These are the normal size ones. Got stone falling That's off. a dime. It's because I turned his head. I didn't. Looks good. Thank you. And then there's these big guys. What is this? 18? Yeah, the 18 inch. So this is still shiny. But yeah, it is tacky though. Still a little tacky. But look at that. Like, wouldn't that be something fun? I wonder if you could do... I wonder if it would stay like that. If you wanted color to kind of punch through. Like, bleed through. Just a very... Okay. Here's uh, the big Pikachu. And then we can do them in this size. How awesome does that guy look, though? These almost look like, like it's so smooth that, uh, this is a sanded one. This one almost looks shinier than this one. And this is a sanded one. See, look at that shine, and then look at this shine. It's not... This one seems shinier. Yeah. That's one of those projects where you spray it and leave it. Uh, Susan, those are, I believe, vinyl. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, Dean. I said they look like tiles, like subway tiles, like the tiles that we used to use back in the day when we first started. This is bathroom tiles yeah just bathroom tiles what's that it's from coast airbrush oh, that let me open that sweet i was wondering about that i was like they never sent me a well they probably did i just don't look at the email stuff i don't get those notifications and things why did they put that right across where um, you have to cut into that. Ooh, I got some candies. Uh, it's a place called Coast Airbrush. It's over there in Orange County, I believe. California, IA. Um, there, these are candies. These are these are paints that uh, that are transparent, but they are vibrant as a mofo. It's not even two for Tuesday. And y'all are getting two for Tuesday. Whoa. I 
got some gloss, I got some reducer. And all these are like super colorful. Um, you can make like true fire and really, really nice neon. I just, did I just not answer that? They're made of vinyl. They're, they're like a plastic vinyl. They're like, it's a hard plastic, I think. We lost them again. <clears throat> I think Darth Vader would look awesome. You're gonna get your Darth Vader. All right, let's see here. Do you want me to turn the compressor on? No, I don't need that. I just wanted to. If you're gonna open a box, you may as well just airbrush on one of those coasties. This is red oxide. Woo, woo, woo. I'm gonna turn it on just in case. Brandy wine. We got some lemon yellow. This stuff isn't opaque at all. Um, so what you can do is you, you paint, basically you paint something in silver or with flake or with white and uh, then put this color over it, tequila yellow, that is going to be nice, there's two tequila yellows, blood red. Red oxide, and then we got some gloss. This is going to be interesting to use. Semi opaque water based. See, and, and all of it's water based. Bright white. And we got some reducer so that if it's a little too thick, you can put that in there and it makes it a little thinner to run through your airbrush. I feel like this is a lot of air. Mm -hmm. I know. But. Mm -hmm. This is you uh, clean up with water. This is all water based paint. Sure, right? <laughs> yeah, this is all water based dye colors. Okay. Dyna line. Yeah, they carry Createx and, and Auto Air. This is Createx Candy 2.0. Do they carry that? I, I don't even know. I never go in that section because it's always like... Uh, I guess I don't ever buy anything from their airbrush section because they don't have the type of airbrush I have sometimes. So I just stop going there. Wow. What is this? Brandy wine. Man, that is. Let's have a look see. Looks like I need to clean that out. And that is probably way too much. just put my hand in that that 
is a nice color. be something good for like background of fire like it's really dark but like I said these are all transparent and you won't uh, look at that and it cleans really easy with water I want to see this tequila yellow Take that cap off first. Ooh, this looks crazy. Ooh. Ooh, I cannot wait to do some fire with this. I gotta practice with this stuff. get this stuff they sent me they sent me 4011 but it says mix with 4030 or 4050 I think that's either to reduce it or I don't know why I don't know what you would need to reduce this stuff is really thin This is red oxide. No idea what this is going to look like. That looks like brown. This would be a good sepia tone color for a portrait. Nice looking red right there. It almost looks orange on camera. Huh. 
see what this yellow, this lemon yellow. Like some fire. That's going to be fun. sample of some candy colors some fire candy colors and now I just need to figure out the reducer but I don't know what you would use a reducer reducer for if it's that thin like it's really thin Super red on my TV, orange red on my phone. Ah, oh, that's so weird. Yeah, you can see there, it does look a little different. That's with that brandy wine color, and then the tequila. And then, oh, that's a, that's, I don't know about that. Red oxide. You might could put that with something and make like an old school photograph. Red oxide just sounds like a yeah, and these are still sticky, so I think we're gonna have to wait for these. Can't do nothing with these people, okay? But it's still shiny. That looks really nice. Like that. I'm excited to see what these look like. Like, I'm blown away how, how smooth that looks. What do you guys think? That's pretty, pretty cool. What would happen if you put a tint on one of these and then sprayed it? Would it you look? must have missed the live. D nice, what are you where's everyone? I'm all alone in here once again. What <laughs> maybe you need to restart your computer. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. It's probably a horrible idea. Oh, you're gonna put that on. Yeah. Looks like she's gonna put some here, let's make this a little bit nicer looking. Alright. Let's do something fun. Oh, you don't need Okay. Just bring me dirt, baby. Bring me some dirt. I was just kind of being rough with it because I don't anticipate it staying.
She must have had that thought while she was over there doing her thing thing. This is really going to be weird. Like, I'm sure it's going to be like... We just let it dry. I don't know if it'll dry on there. Maybe we shouldn't let it dry. I don't think it's going to dry on here. Maybe it'll be cool when we spray it over it. Let's see. Where's the stuff at? I'm gonna spray, I'll spray this one with a lot on it. Okay. <laughs> I think this is gonna dry, y'all. I think we should just let it set. Maybe I'll just take it to the dust free zone. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely, uh, tacky to the touch. So I'm just gonna let that set. And, uh, I don't know, I guess we'll check it out tomorrow. I think we're going to do an unboxing of, what is it? Uh, we're doing a um, product test for Mermaid Trash. We're going to do a product test. It's Mermaid Trash? It's not Unicorn something? Uh, I, I guess I just get all those names mixed up. I Are apologize. You're about to get up and check that box, aren't you? Huh? Are you about to get up and check the box? No. Um, I thought for sure it would like blend in. She didn't give me a dirty stick. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely those instructions on that box, on that can are super tiny. All right. Well, I guess we should have done something first. And then uh, let you guys see it after. But that's what the tests are for. We'll put these in the dust-free zone. See what they do. See what becomes of them. And uh, unicorn spit and mermaid trash. Yeah, I think we're going to be doing mermaid trash. Look at what... What happened to me? <laughs> How did I get so messy? Y'all, I'm just a mess right now. You know how people say, oh my god, I'm such a mess right now. You're such a mess right now. Troll poop? That could be something fun. Look at this, what? How? Somebody, Manuel said, what about troll poo? I don't know, I don't know that there's one out there, but. That would be something fun to make. Why do I feel like the colors won't be as exciting? 
No. Clara's like, what is troll poop? <laughs> it's that new new manual. It's out of Austin. <laughs> fresh. It's fresh. Awesome. All right, you guys. Thanks for having a a short video with me today on some epoxy appliance epoxy appliance epoxy. Also Yeah, I don't know what it was on, but it got on me. Oh well. Yeah, and um, yeah, that wasn't a sponsored thing by uh, Createx Colors, but if Createx, I've actually been using your paint since 95, 94. Yeah. So Hit me watching, up. <laughs> out there I know you guys got a lot of leprechaun spit. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Now we're getting out of hand. Well, now we have to go to Bunny it's, it's only it's only Monday. Easter, yeah. All right. You guys have an awesome Monday. Be kind to one another because you never know what somebody's going through. We will take a look at these tomorrow. Um, after the uh, what is it? Unicorn trash. Mermaid, Mermaid trash. trash. See, now I'm gonna get it mixed up. Dyslexia is a mofo, y'all. I'm just saying. Um, and always, always remember, we love to do the tests. So you don't have to. I should, I should have just like transitioned that before. Like just, that's all they hear. Just my face, like. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. You guys have an awesome night. We'll see you later. We'll see you tomorrow. Two o'clock tomorrow. Two for Tuesday tomorrow. Two at Tuesday for two. So there's two involved? Mermaid trash. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Two. two o'clock. There's twos. There's twos. Oh my you guys God. have an awesome, awesome night. What was that? That was Cujo barreling down the ramp because we're about to say bye. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Bye. I said bye. Bye. <laughs>